catches fire on Cape Cod, and now one person is recovering in the hospital. The flames broke out just after 1 o'clock this morning on the catamaran, and they spread very quickly. WBC's Nicole Jacobs is live in Falmouth with the story. Nicole? Kate, at this point, it's more of a waiting game in terms of removing this now destroyed boat from the water. You can see crews have been kind of going back and forth and working on that area for some time now. But the fire chief says it will take just that time before they're able to remove that boat, and he does not believe that will happen today. The dreary calm over Falmouth Harbor Tuesday. It is just the most beautiful harbor. Gives a sharp contrast to the scene just hours earlier. Directly outside of the window, it was just a giant mass of flames. Gail and Kylie lives across from the marina. She grabbed her camera and went closer. Watching that mass go down, was that was the loudest part. It was 1.45 a.m. A 911 call brought rushing firefighters met by intense flames. Two crew members on board the boat, a woman burned and flown to a Boston hospital, now stable. A 65-foot luxury catamaran with flames bursting and fuel leaking. There's about 350 gallons of diesel fuel on the boat. Now the boat's on the bottom. Springing an environmental concern during the marina's busiest season. Crews doing their best to contain the damage, which so far is isolated to this charred vessel. It's just completely destroyed. It's completely destroyed. The mast has fallen over. Booms and absorbent pads working to soak up the spill as the investigation into the cause takes shape. It was Mother Nature who loaned a hand. With a less favorable wind or any other different conditions, it could have been much different. But the look of the harbor is different, with fuel now at the surface, remnants of the devastation floating along, eventually restoring the calm. It's heaven. It's so peaceful. That is typically the attraction on the harbor. And taking a live look here, you can see crews continue to work with those absorbent pads. I can tell you the marina is asking all boat owners if they're coming out to any of the docks today to check in at the office. And they also say if you plan to wash your boat today, they're asking that you not use soap. That's actually a request from DEP as they try to alleviate this uh, environmental hazard. We're live in Falmouth. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News.